Hey guys, Jamie here again with Iconic Effects. I wanted to do a follow-up from my painting video that I posted up yesterday, okay? Um, one of the things that I do when I when I paint up something with your, uh, that happens to be urethane, I as soon as it's done painted and it's it's completely dried and everything's you know feeling pretty good on it, I promptly try and destroy it. And the reasoning why I do that is because I have seen too many times somebody get a urethane piece in the mail from somebody else and the paint is coming off of it. It's flexed or it's cracked or it's just flaking or whatever the deal is because the paint's not sticking to urethane. I flat out refuse to send something like that to somebody. So I just have not painted. It's been that simple. But I've been experimenting a bit more with it. Uh, and the reasoning why is because obviously I have that Robin Redbird torso that I've shown, um, which needs that big bird painted on it. And then, you know, you got the, the torsos like this that like George Clooney wore that, you know, really need to be more of a Clooney blue color as opposed to this, you know, straight up black. And, you know, I do have plans on, on doing sonar at some point and sonar was that silver color. So there's some things that need to be kind of painted. And I've been really, you know, I go through a phase like, every, you know, I don't know, like once a year where I really try and paint urethane again. And, and this year has been no different. Uh, right before Halloween, I'm trying to get my costume done myself and... I gotta try and paint stuff, right? So I painted this fin up and I showed you guys yesterday in the video. I'm gonna show you guys what I did though. I used Liquitex uh, glazing medium. I watered this down, that was sprayed completely all over it, that was its base layer. Then I took the Wicked Colors by Creatix, mixed with a little bit of, um, they have some other stuff that you have to mix with it now, um, which I actually left sitting in the studio. Um, you mix those two things together, it makes it really sticky and it does stick to urethane really well. And then I took a liquid tex again and I went back over the top of it in order to seal it all up, keep it uh, nice and flexible. So after I did the video yesterday, I promptly destroyed my fin because that's what I do. I don't let anything just sit there. I want to know, is this paint going to come off? And if it is, how is it going to come off? Is it going to be easy to fix? Is it not? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So here it is. I scratched the living shit out of this thing right here. And I was able to get it to start peeling up here, and I peeled it down to there, and it stopped. Um, honestly, this paint sticks really, really, really well. And it's cheap. This stuff is $5 a bottle. I think this stuff was 8 bucks or 9 bucks or something like that. So it's, it's a pretty cheap way of going. But I'm after kind of that permanent urethane solution. This fin that I showed very briefly yesterday is a George Clooney fin off of his actual glove. It's a studio-made piece. And that paint's been on there for 20 years. So it's obviously possible to paint urethane because this is also urethane. But how? There's a question, right? Talked with BJB in depth yesterday. They have a product called SC89. I've known about it for a long time. It's a solvent-based product and it's meant to paint urethane with. I've never used it. I've used their SC92, which is a water-based product, it works pretty well, but it wasn't like a permanent solution with something that's this flexible and this movable. So, talk with them. I'm going to get a sample kit of that on Friday. Supposedly, it works really, really well. So, you know, fingers crossed, we're going to be able to make that work. Second part of what happened yesterday was I started talking to Tanya Reynolds over at Tigerstone Effects. They've been painting urethane for a while now, and I have seen some of their stuff, and I really wondered, man, how are they doing it? Because it looks really good. If you have not checked them out, feel free to go ahead and do so. I'm definitely going to give them some credit there, and I'm going to plug them a little bit, because she has been very, very helpful in regards to this whole thing. Um, I think they paint up a Huntress mask right now, and they paint up a new 52 cowl or something. I don't know exactly what they do, but... Um, the paint jobs on them, it was a blue piece and it was a purple piece, are just beautiful. It, and it's urethane. It's the same, it's, you know, roughly the same type of urethane I use, probably the same brand. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't checked with that, but there's only so many urethanes out there you can use for this kind of stuff. So, I talked with her yesterday and she said flat out, Imperial Flex is what they use. Imperial Flex is made by a product called Imperial Surface Technologies. It's been a very hard product for me to try and find. There was a local place here in LA that actually carried it. They don't carry it anymore and to be honest with you i thought well how am i going to get a hold of it um she did refer me to the place that they're able to get it at over in the uk i did contact them they did respond back to me i was just waiting on a shipping quote 
And then I heard from Imperial Surface Technologies directly today. Uh, he's right over on Long Beach, which is maybe 30 minutes from my house, give or take. Um, he, he's working up a price for me right now on less than, because I don't really need a ton of the stuff, but I'll be straight up with you guys. It's very expensive. It is not meant for the average hobby person to, to purchase for paint, paint usage. Um, but for somebody like me, who, who does have some actual projects that he wants to use this stuff on, it's fantastic. From what she was telling me, or what Tanya was telling me, is the stuff sticks like there's no tomorrow. It is what you use to paint urethane, period. Like there is nothing else you need. You, you get Imperial Flex and you're done. So, you know, like I said, I, I do recommend that the what I did yesterday, it works. But you need to be comfortable with painting it yourself and repairing it yourself if you ever need an issue. If you want to go hardcore, then yeah, go for Imperial Flex. You know, that's that's entirely up to you. So with all this being said, we have two very good solutions. We have the BJB option, which again, they're hooking me up with. I, I can't imagine that this stuff is not going to work. All they deal with is urethanes and resins and rubbers of all sorts of types. So if they if they spend a lot of time on the research and development with it, they're not as well known as like a smooth on company out there where they're very smooth on is a little bit more consumer friendly as opposed to BJB is more of an industrial type of company from what I from what I understand. I can be totally wrong, but that's kind of my view of them. Um, they provide stuff for Disney and things of that nature. Uh, I can't imagine their stuff's not going to work. I'm also going to pick up the Imperial Flex because frankly they're local to me. And why wouldn't I? It supposedly works also. So two solutions that supposedly work. So fingers crossed, we're done with this whole painting experiment. So guys, subscribe. I'm gonna obviously be updating this as I continue to work with it. And if you have any questions about what I'm doing, any questions for me at all, feel free. Chat me up on Facebook or Instagram, iconic fx Send me an email, iconic fxcom That was wrong. It's info at iconic fxcom Till next time, guys. I'll see you.